Hello everyone, this is Lucy05 and welcome to the Kobe Kumasa Toy Review. And today's toy review looking at the 2007 release by NECA of the Assassin's Creed Action Figure Review. And today's Action Figure Review looking at Altai from the first Assassin's Creed game. Now this Action Figure does not belong to me of course. A friend of mine requested me to do a video review out of this figure and he bought this figure for 69 ringgit and 90 cents. Which I neglected to ask him where he got it in the first place. But anyways, now this is the front part of the packaging itself. You got the title at the top part of the packaging and the entire list itself shows majority of the figure itself. Uh, you got the knife on one side, the extra hand here, and then you got a nice little image of Altai there. Here it reads Altai, play select, ages 17 and up, based on a game rated mature by the ESRB. And at the bottom part here is stated warning, choking hazard, small parts not for children under 3 years old. Hmm, very interesting. Modern part has nothing much, it's just the other people who work on this figure. The sculptors are Craig Campbell and Jason Fraley. Painters will be John Waldo and Jeffrey Trapped. And you've got the prototype created from Adam Smith. And you've got the photography person, the people to do the development itself the packaging and licensing which I'm not gonna bother to name them <laughs> here you got Ubisoft NECA and at the bottom part here www.necaonline.com and here you notice this small little warning label not meant for children under three you got a side little image there of our tire and another sign here big words of made in China and the back packaging itself, you've got a nice little image of our tire here. And it stated that it comes with a retractable blade, removable sword and daggers, and the in-game image. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toy. Be right back. And we're back on the room of the figure and the rest of the stuff up from packaging. Now, inside the packaging, of course, it comes with a separate hand. You can see there are a lot of details on the hand itself. Check this picture out. You'll notice there are veins on top part of the hand itself, the forehand. And even the fingernails are also sculpted. Very nicely done. Now, the hands are very nicely done, of course. But, with this hand, you can actually replace the one on the figure itself. You just pop off his right hand and pop this in. Now, removing the hand from the finger is actually quite easy however putting this hand into the figure itself is actually very hard i don't dare to use much force to push it in seeing that this is a necker figure and i already seen quite a number of reviews that this kind of figures tend to break quite easily so i just put it on one side now a tie here comes with buckload of accessories now the one in the packaging has this small sword very nicely detailed stuff and quite worn out as well and you can stuff it at the back of the figure where it has the sheath there and you can stuff it like so now the other accessory will be his sword his long sword which is rather really long stuff and also quite very detailed stuff you've got the handle wrapped in leather entire blade itself is also quite nicely done but quite a number of paint smudge going on here especially on this part put this in it holds into his sword sheath quite easily now there are four more accessories the well daggers the daggers are quite small and quite tight tightly fit into the sheath itself so it tends to stay stuck there as you can see, this is very small stuff and you have to be extra careful with these daggers because apparently one of the daggers handle broke. It broke and th this is the one, the top part here. And another weapon he has, well actually he has quite a number of weapons. This one's, this tiny little daggers is on top of his shoulder here and it's not removable of course. And then you have the retractable blade here, there's a small pen there and you can push the blade out like so very nicely done also like in the game they 
Actually, the group of assassins here don't have the wedding ring finger. As you can see here, there's a hole there. It's quite nicely done. And it's also positioned at the same similar spot where the blade is coming out, so it won't hinder the, well, the wedding ring finger. It's quite nicely done. Now, the entire figure is very detailed stuff, but first, I would like to complain about the face. First things first, let's take a look at the image here. I'll try it here. You notice the image. He barely actually has very little amount of mustache going on. Now, check this picture out. You'll notice his face, his mustache is huh, very thick. I'm not too sure why they painted his mustache that thick. So it looks kind of weird. But other than that, it, the entire figure looks very well detailed. Really love the paint job. All the details are there. The back pouches there. Got a little, I'm not too sure what this is. Poison? Could be poison or something else. Very nicely detailed. Modern part of boots itself has Wow, this guy is a walking arsenal. Bottom part of the boots itself, he has all these tiny little daggers going on. This guy is a walking armament. I really love it. The leather straps on his forearms here is very nicely done as well. Very detailed stuff. But the bottom part of the well, pants itself, the tie side, there's nothing much. And the skirt itself is actually soft, well, soft rubber. But it slightly hinders the figure's articulation. Let's pick up articulation. Let's check out the figure's articulation. Now the head actually turns left or right. The head itself can actually turn 360 degrees. But the problem is, it's being hindered by the neck collar itself and the hood. And the head cannot bend the head backwards, but it can look downwards. Looks very nice. Looks very cool like this way. The arms can actually move upwards and backwards and spread the arms this far very nicely done the elbows however barely able to bend much as you can see here this is as much you can bend and can turn 360 degrees of course wrist here can also turn 360 degrees and go inward and outward well a little bit outward but all the way inwards very nice this one however is stuck on one position but can turn the wrist left and right because it's being hindered by the retractable blade torso here can actually bend a little bit backwards a little bit forward and turn 360 degrees but i don't dare to now the ties here the hip joints here can actually bend the legs a little bit forward not by much and it has a sort of tie of course and then you've got the knee joint that actually barely bends much as you can see this is as much you can bend and he can bend forward as well i'm not too sure why they do that the knee here can also turn 360 degrees and the ankle can actually pivot downwards and upwards a little bit and turn 360 degrees overall the figure is very detailed but you have to be very delicate with this kind of figures very delicate you have to handle it with care otherwise you end up breaking this breaking that it's not a really pretty sight and if i'm gonna give a rating of this figure i would say i don't like the mustache it is really off it's really off it's, it doesn't look just like how the game character look like but the entire figure is very detailed stuff pity that you can't actually use this hand you can if you want to force it but <laughs> seeing that this kind of figures are easily prone to breakage that's not to it's also a pity that the daggers here is so so thin and so fragile that it will break so easily. So if I'm gonna give a rating on this figure, I'll say I'll give it an 8. 8 out of 10. Because it looks really great stuff. So, this is the end of the review. Thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.